Well, good morning, awesome people. Day before I man cans, heading down to the beach for a little swimmy poo, a little bikey poo, and a little runny poo. All for around a total of 45 minutes to an hour. Got the rig. Wife said, I hope I haven't got the runny poos. Let's hope not. Had my swim. Now it's time to rock the new 17 hours cycling kit. Then. Let's have a ride. In Queensland, they've got a saying, the weather is beautiful one day, perfect the next. Come, I'll show you what it is. That is bloody sensational. That is pretty damn beautiful out there. I've been here for four years now in a row and I've never seen the water that flat or smooth. It's still choppy, but it's normally rough as crap out there and that's just beautiful. And it's strange with the wind, because out on the beach, the wind's pretty strong and you think, God, this is gonna be miserable. You get out on the Cook Highway, it's flat as a crap, it's just no wind. And so that, that's, that's nice. It's probably not gonna be like that tomorrow, but I'll take it today. It's pretty beautiful. It's run time. Not a bad little way to run. Training is all done and dusted. So I basically did what I did yesterday, swim, bike, run. Yesterday I did it for a total of one hour. Today I did swim, bike, run for a total of around 45 minutes or thereabouts. Just moving a bit of blood around. Nothing, nothing spectacular. But this is spectacular. So now walking back to the hotel room, gonna shower, get all my crap ready for tomorrow, book everything in, I'm gonna relax. So we are just about ready. So in there, that's my run gear bag. So I've got my running shoes, socks, hat, salt, salt sticks, my race number. I think that's about it. There, I've got a pair of sunglasses, but my bike helmet will go into that, but I've got to get checked by the technical officers. Special needs bag for the run. You'll see a Red Bull for that, just in case, a couple of gels and some salt, salt stick tablets. In there for the bike, we've got a Red Bull and four gels for that just in case moment. That's my strip bag. There's still a lot of work needed to be done with that. And I'll show you the bike a little bit later. I'll give you a tour. I run in. Grab my bag. Into the men's. Get dressed, put my running shoes on, and go straight out that way. Running like a madman. So transition two bags entered. So now, they've got a bit of a race brief going on over there. So now we're gonna go up to Palm Cove, clock in the bike, clock in the transition one bag, and it's lunch and then relaxing for the rest of the day. Have a look at this duck. That duck, that aqueduct thing, that was for, made in world for World War II. And there's bugger all of them around. That looks like it's a pretty good near condition for World War II. Still gets used every day. So if you look at all those bags over there, that's for the half Ironman. The full Ironman stuff gets all thrown into the tent. We're a little bit more important for the full. All right, let me give you a tour of the bike. Zip 808s on the front, zip 1080s on the back. Got my SRM power meter. Uh, that's about to come off because I'm, I'm just about to put it into transition two, transition one now. So I've got that ready to go. There's nothing in it at the moment, but there will be tomorrow morning. I'm set for three flat tires. Don't want to use any of them. My gummin. We'll go there tomorrow. There's not much else to pass on. I've oiled the chain, I've cleaned it, I've wiped it, and then tomorrow again, I'll wipe it again, and that should give me a, yeah, two watts. Have a look how clean this is. God, that's beautiful. Oh, this is something I didn't pass on. A breakdown of the bike course. Oh, and if different sections. It's pretty cool, and what it means to me, whether it's going to be in a headwind, tailwind, it's technical. So come race day, I'm going to turn this bike around so the seat's sitting up here. So all I've got to do is pick the bike up and run. 
But because I don't know what the weather's doing tonight, I'll leave it like that to be more secure. Goodbye, baby. Come straight in here. Grab our T1 bag. Definitely males. Dress. We run up. Straight there. Grab this sexy rig and get the hell out of Dodge. That's Marina Carfrae's rig. So that's Tim O'Donnell's. That is Torrente Bassoni's. And that's Gomez's. Oh my god, they're sexy, sexy rigs. That's Clayton Patel's. I have no idea how long he's been on the Scott for. But that's a pretty nice looking Scott. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you were worried about finding your bike, if you stick like a helium balloon on your transition area, you can run straight to it. Little tip for uh, the good people. We have sushi for lunch. A little sneaky, poolside.